After watching this video, we will learn four kinds of HCF questions which are commonly asked in various kinds of tests. Before solving the questions, we will quickly understand the basics that are factors and multiples. First, what are factors? Numbers that exactly divide another number are called factors. For example, factors of 30 are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15 and 30 because each of these numbers exactly divides the number 30. Similarly, factors of 10 are 1, 2, 5 and 10. Now what are multiples? A number let P multiplied by 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on up to infinity are the multiples of P. For example, 30 multiply 1 is equal to 30, 30 multiply 2 is equal to 60, 30 multiply 3 is equal to 90. Here 30, 60 and 90 are multiples of 30. Similarly, 10, 20, 30 and 40 and so on up to infinity are multiples of 10. Now uh, we have a fair idea of factors and multiples. We are going to understand LCM and HCF. LCM stands for least common multiples. In other words, the smallest multiple which is common in two or more than two numbers. Uh, for the examples above uh, that are the multiples of 10 and multiples of 30, the least common multiple is 30. On the other hand, HCF stands for highest common factor. In other words, this means the greatest factor which is common in two or more than two numbers. The highest common factor for the above examples that are the factors of 10 and factors of 30 is 10. Because 10 is the only greatest number which exactly divides both 10 and 30. Now how to find LCM and HCF? There are many methods to find LCM and HCF. But we need to learn only one method to solve uh, the questions. While solving questions we will learn the shortcut method to find LCM and HCF. Keywords for LCM questions. Most of the time when uh, the question asks to find minimum number, least number, etc. or have the words like together, simultaneous or their synonyms, then we have to find LCM. Keywords for HCF. Unlike for LCM, if the question has words like maximum, highest, greatest, largest, uh, distribution, classification, etc. Then one need to find the uh, highest common factor of the given numbers. As we have learned all the basic points, now uh, we are going to solve four kinds of HCF questions which are commonly asked in various kinds of tests. Question type 1. The greatest number that will divide 172 and 137 and leaves 7 as the remainder is dash. In this question, the word greatest is the keyword. So, we have to calculate the highest common factor. First, I will subtract 7 from each of the number 172 and 137. 172 minus 7 is equal to 165. 137 minus 7 is equal to 130. Now we have to find highest common factor of 165 and 130. 5 multiply 33 is equal to 165 and 5 multiply 26 is equal to 130. The remainder 33 and 26 is not divisible by any common number so HCF is equal to 5 and hence the required number is 5. We can also check uh, either 5 is uh, right or wrong. Question type 2. The floor of a room is 30 feet long and 27 feet wide. 
how many maximum dimension square tiles or slabs are required to pave the floor here the word maximum is the keyword and uh, maximum dimension means maximum area or maximum size of the slab and we are asked to find the maximum size of the slab first we find the hcf so 3 multiply 10 is equal to 30 3 multiply 9 is equal to 27 the remainder 10 and 9 is not divisible by a common number hcf is equal to 3 because only 3 is the common digit when hcf is equal to 3 then the area of the square slab is equal to length multiply length is equal to 3 multiply 3 is equal to 9 square feet the area of the floor is equal to length multiply by breadth and which is given 30 multiply 27 is equal to 810 square feet now divide the area of the floor by the area of the slab so 810 divided by 9 is equal to 90 this is the number of maximum uh, area square shape tiles question type 3 300 deodar trees are planted in a few rows 400 pine trees are to be planted in same number of rows find the maximum number of rows for each tree in this question the word maximum is the keyword so we have to calculate the highest common factor uh, in this question in simple words we are asked to find the highest common factor of 300 and 400 10 multiply 30 is equal to 300 10 multiply 17 is equal to 170 as 10 is the only common number hence highest common factor of 300 and 170 is 10 if I explain then uh, for Deodar trees each row has 30 trees and for pine trees each row has 17 trees now the last type of question question type 4 a person sells 400 liter of cow milk 300 liter of sheep milk and 600 liter of goat milk in a week if he packs milk in equal size bottle or can then what is the greatest size of the bottle here you can see that the word greatest is the keyword so we have to calculate the highest common factor in this question we have to find the largest volume can in which the shepherd can pack 400 liter 300 liter and 600 liter milk separately such that each kind of milk completely fills the can and no milk left in other words uh, we have to calculate the highest common factor of 400 300 and 600 10 multiply 40 is equal to 400 10 multiply 30 is equal to 300 10 multiply 60 is equal to 600 in the next step 10 multiply 4 is equal to 40 10 multiply 3 is equal to 30 10 multiply 6 is equal to 60 as the remainders are not divisible by a common number Hence, HCF is equal to 10 multiplied 10 is equal to 100 or 100 liters. And this is the maximum size of the can. He sells 4 cans of cow milk and he sells 3 cans of sheep milk and 6 cans of goat milk.